This video is going to be all about alien gear today. Uh, the company contacted me a good while ago. I got the 3.0 in the waistband tuckable holster. They sent that to me and I have been wearing it and using it just to see what I think about it. And then when they came out with the shape shift, they sent me one of those as well. So I've been trying out the shape shift for about a week or so. Um, I haven't tried out all the different ways to wear it yet. I haven't done the on the waistband configurations yet, but I will, and I'm gonna make that into a separate video. I also wanna talk about the difference between the 3.0 and the new shape shift uh, version because they are different, they feel completely different, and I wanna give you my opinion on that. And of course, I'll show you how they look in my outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the 3.0 just because that is the first one that they sent me and I wasn't able to do the review for that when I wanted to because of the move and my ankle and all that yada yada yada. Got on just a regular t-shirt, Moriarty, if anybody knows what that's from. Um, regular pair of shorts and the 3.0 is on in the back. So here's how it looks with my shirt covering it. Um, it does print a little bit, but it's not that bad. Here's how it looks with my shirt up. There you go. Take the gun out. Here's how it looks. It does not rub me the wrong way. It actually is quite comfortable on me. Um, I've read a lot of mixed reviews. I feel like some people either love how this feels or they hate how it feels. I think it really depends on your body type and how it rubs on you. But for me, it seems to hit me in the right spots and it feels pretty good. Uh, here is how it looks, just like that. First off, I wanna say when they sent this to me, I really struggled with getting this thing on. I actually had to watch their YouTube video on how to uh, put this on because it did not go on as easily as I would expect it to go on. This is probably the most time consuming holster I own to get on. And I am not a fan of that. I like to be able to just kind of throw it on and run out the door. I'm always running late and having a holster that takes so long to get on and get it adjusted just right, which is something else that's very difficult to do, um, is kind of a pain in the butt. I also do not like the clips that come with it. You can get other clips, you can change these out, but the original clips that come with it, I hate these. I have a really hard time pulling these out far enough to get them to go over my belt. And then once they're on my belt, they don't wanna move. So if you don't get it in the right position the first time and you have to kind of move it and readjust it, it's really difficult. I also don't like how hard it is to get off. Um, so yeah. Those are things that I don't really like. Now I'll talk about the things that I do like. I will say once you get this thing on, it's extremely comfortable, um, especially while driving, which is um, probably the time that I'm least comfortable while wearing my gun. For some reason, the gun always seems to rub me the wrong way when I'm driving, but in this holster, it doesn't do that. Uh, I guess because it's so big, maybe it distributes the the weight of the gun or the feel of the gun, I don't really know. It's probably scientific in some way, but it seems to make the gun a whole lot more comfortable while I'm driving. So I really like to wear this if I'm gonna be you know, out and about for the whole day. This is a great holster to go for. I do think it is low profile and it doesn't print very much. I say very much because the majority of holsters do print in some way, but this one is not bad at all compared to other holsters. I really like the backing that is on here. I do not sweat very much in this backing. Um, not really sure what it is, but it's very soft and very comfortable. Uh, so yeah, that is how I feel about the 3.0. It is a holster that I will continue to wear, especially if I'm going on car trips and things like that. I like it. I don't like everything about it, but overall I do like it. Here is the box that the Shapeshift comes in. This is the starter kit. The Shapeshift is a modular holster system that allows you to wear in the waistband, a pinnock style, 
And then there are two on the waistband options, one with a paddle, one with a slide. This kit comes with a ton of stuff in it. When you open it, it's kind of like opening up a box of Legos. It can be overwhelming. Uh, I will say it did come with a very detailed instruction booklet. It had great pictures in it and it did help me in figuring out how to put these different holsters together. Here is the in the waistband option i'm not going to show you how to put this thing together and take it apart and all that because there's already some amazing videos on youtube of people doing that and explaining it way better than i ever could i'm going to link some of those down below if you're interested in all of the inner workings of this holster and how it goes together uh, but yeah you would much rather watch them talk about it than me because i'm not a technical person and i cuss a lot when i'm trying to figure things out and so we will skip that. This holster is very similar to the 3.0, but it is smaller in size. Uh, the shell is very different. It's more squared off and rugged looking. This is comfortable enough once you get it on, but I prefer the 3.0. I think that one is a whole lot more comfortable than this one. Can't really figure out why. I don't know if it's just the size of this that makes that much of a difference, but to me, they don't even compare. If I had to choose to buy one, I would pick the 3.0 over this one. I feel kind of bad saying that because Alien Gear was kind enough to send me this kit so I could talk about it. I will say though, I do like what they did with the clips, how you put the clips on and take them off. It's the same clips. I don't like the clips themselves, but this is really cool. So the clip just turns and pops off and then you stick it back in and turn and it goes back on so it makes adjusting this up and down very easy it's a whole lot easier than adjusting the clips on this one this one has this little washer piece on the inside and you have to actually use an allen wrench to um, unscrew this and screw it back on kind of a pain in the butt so i really do like this new design i think that's awesome I posted about this on Instagram when I first got it and I had other women contact me and tell me that they preferred the 3.0 to the shapeshift version. So it's not just me. I don't know if this one is made more for men than for women, but I don't know. You can always try it out and return it if you don't like it. That's something they do have a very nice return policy. But yeah, if I had to choose one, I would choose the 3.0 over this one. Here's how the shapeshift looks on. I think it conceals the same way that the 3.0 conceals, so I'm happy about that. Here is how it looks in the back. You can see. All right, so now let's talk about the appendix carry option. Here it is on with my Glock 43, which is not the best gun to be wearing appendix carry for me anyway. Um, kind of on the slimmer side and this gun sticks out like a sore thumb. So part of my problem is this gun and the other part is the holster. So here's how it looks from the side. And when I put my shirt down, here is the gun. So I feel like this sticks out really far from my body. It, this holster does not hold it tight against my belly. I have another appendix style holster that does do a much better job of holding the gun up like this. So I had the hardest time trying to find a shirt that this did not print very bad in. Uh, this is not a tight shirt. This is actually kind of a loose shirt for me and it still sticks out really far. So, but yeah, it is just a really big bulky holster and it does not work on smaller frames. So yeah, so far the new shape shift really is not working out for me. Um, I prefer the 3.0 in the waistband and I'm not going to wear this. It just doesn't work. And like I said, I haven't tried the two on the waistband options yet, but we did just move to a house where we have our own shooting range set up in the backyard. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more drills and things like that. So I'm really excited to have the on the waistband options, see how that works out for me. I will be making a video about that in the future. I just didn't want this video to be 20 minutes long. If you guys have the shape shift, let me know your thoughts on it down below. I would love to hear them and I will see you guys soon. Bye.